Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to introduce you to the Autodesk Revit and its environments. Now, it's a BIM software. Now, what is a BIM software? You can actually look for that online. It stands for Building Information Modeling. And uh, Revit is considered to be one of the best BIM softwares available in the market right now. In this video, I'm going to use the very latest version of the Revit. So there are actually four different types of environments in Revit that you're gonna be working on. You can also call them uh, the workspaces where you're going to handle all the designing work. You're gonna be having to deal with each of them for designing different things. This is the welcoming screen of Revit. So what you see is you can actually uh, create a new Revit project file from here. And uh, you got different sort of uh, templates, the construction template, architecture and the structure and mechanical templates. There are the four environments that I talked about that are the project environment, the family environment, the conceptual mass environment and the in-place mass environment. So to open a new project environment with the architectural template or any of the templates that I want, I can click on new and then select the template. In this case, I'm going to go with the architecture template or what I can do is directly click on this architectural template right here. So it will open the um, project environment for me so this is the project environment that I have and what you need to do is just to go through with the set of tools you got in this environment you got properties bar here and the project browser right here and uh, I will let you know of all of these functions in the further videos but in this video I'm only concentrating on four different environments and how they basically look so in a standard project environment you have all those different options like walls, doors, windows, components in the architecture tab that you can directly click on and use in this uh, view. Now there are options like here I got levels that is actually grayed out. This means I cannot use this option in this current view. And the four different views you can actually go to the project browser and see all those different views you can actually go to like I uh, got floor plans, ceiling plans and elevations. If I go to elevations, now some different um, tools or functionalities are actually grayed out that I can use in this, uh, in this view. In this view, I can actually make some levels. So I can directly use tools if I am to just create some walls. I can directly create some different sort of uh, walls. Maybe I'll go to the doors and uh, and create a door right here and you can actually go to the 3d view to see it on 3d now if i just minimize this right from here and go to file new and conceptual mass so here is this file that is the mass.rft that is the rabbit family template file that I have. If you don't see this file right here, you can also download it from internet. You can just search for it, mass.rft for Revit, and uh, you'll see many links you can download it from. So if I just open this, so this is the uh, conceptual mass environment, and if you see the little tools here are a lot different compared to the project environment. And again, I'm gonna get to all these tools and explain to you what they do and how to work with these tools in further videos. Now in the conceptual mass environment, what you see is the project browser is still the same, but uh, the ribbon and the functions on it are a lot different. There's no form function, but what you have to do in this environment is you have to create the sheet and then actually create the form out of it. And uh, what the most different thing about this is you can actually see the planes right onto the view all these different planes that you have and you can create more planes the working planes in it so if I just select this plane and uh, go to any of these shapes let's say a rectangle I can create this shape over this uh, selected sort of a plane so I can also change the dimensions for one so what I would do now is I will select this shape and go to create form and create the form out of it. Let's go for a solid form and here I have this uh, sort of cuboid that I made out of that rectangular shape. Again I'm going to minimize this and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back 
to the project environment that I have. So from this, I will go to the massing and site. And here, I have an option called in place mask. So first what I have to do is name the mask. I will just keep it as default as mask1 and press OK. So this is a, you can say, part of the project environment where I'm cons considering it in a different uh, environment. In place mask environment is a special version of project environment where in what you see is in the ribbon tab you have the functions that actually are pretty similar to the conceptual mask environment. Another for the last that is the family environment. I will go to new and go to the family. So here I see all the families that are actually the part of this and uh, if I just go to any one of these just to show you how what a family environment is, just open one of these and uh, here we have all those different options that are the part of this uh, family environment. So in the family environment the options that you see in the project browser are very similar to the project environment. In fact there are no changes but uh, if you go to the ribbon, this is the ribbon and here uh, the options are all different. So from here you can actually tell what environment you're in if it's a family environment or the project environment you can just look take a look at these uh, options that are available on uh, in this ribbon another thing about this environment is there's no option available for level and grades available in this uh, in this environment but we do have options available for reference plane and reference line that we use in family environment we'll be catching up to this in the further videos that we make on this environment and you can see if I go to 3D view, some more options are actually grayed out now. And if I go to the elevations, some options are rather open up, but other ones are still grayed out. So in this view, you can see all those four different environments. First is the project environment, and you can see the tools right here that we have, the toolbars, the options, and then the conceptual mass environment that I have here, and. Uh, can see again the tools are different there's a very little change between the conceptual mass environment the options that we have in it and the options that we got in the in-place mass environment it's pretty much the same uh, we will get back to them in the further videos of course and in the family mass environments there's more sort of options that are available to us so if you like this video, please uh, click on the like button below the video and do not forget to subscribe to our channel or ask us different questions that we can be answering in uh, the further videos.